Because what I've learned over the past year of doing yoga is that when I get into a deep position, my face gets tight, I start squeezing, and my yoga teacher will say, Adam, relax your face, relax your face. So the second I focus on loosening up my face, keeping my face loose, I also tune into my legs and realize, oh, my legs are also tight. The very muscle that I'm trying to lengthen and make more flexible is actually tight. I'm actually pulling this leg in close to me while at the same time, I'm trying to stretch it. What's up guys? Today, I wanna to talk to you about the past eight weeks of my life that I've spent stretching. It's easily the most consistent amount of time I've ever spent working on my flexibility, and to no surprise, it's also given me the best results. Of course, I have to give credit where credit is due, and I've been following a flexibility challenge, an eight-week challenge, by this guy, Alaya Bartolini. You can follow him on Instagram, he's definitely a great follow, but he had an eight week flexibility challenge that was targeted specifically for the middle and front splits. And the basic premise is you download his eight week challenge, which is like a 10, 11 page PDF. There's like eight stretches maybe. And at the start of the eight weeks, you take a picture doing a side split and a front split as far as you can get into it. And then at the end of the eight weeks, you take another set of pictures doing the exact same side and front splits to compare. Now, of course, there really is no magic here, despite what the TikTok videos and the Instagram reels and the YouTube videos that promise you can get a splits in just one day of stretching will tell you, it takes practice, it takes consistency, and it takes a lot of patience. But if my eight weeks is any indicator, it's that practice and consistent practice over even a small amount of time can yield you some pretty good results. And just to be clear, across that eight weeks, I was pretty much stretching every day. I wasn't always following Aliyah's stretching routine, not every day. Some days I was stretching in the gym, just doing my own stuff. But basically every day I was doing some form of stretching. Now I know I said there's no secret here. It all comes down to practice and patience, but I did have one personal breakthrough during this eight weeks that I really felt was worth sharing with you guys. And that one breakthrough was to stop thinking about stretching your limbs or extending your limbs and rather to relax into the stretch. So I'll illustrate this point with a stretch that you may have seen before, you may have tried before, but you don't need any props. You just need a floor that's relatively slidey. You know, you don't wanna do it on carpet where you can't let your feet slide. Like right here, you see how my foot can slide easily? You want something like that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get into a position like this, you know, just get on your knee, have your toes curled under you with this leg extended. I'm not fully pushing this out, just kind of at a natural uh, extension right here with my toes pointed upward so my leg is externally rotated. Now what we're gonna do from here is let this leg slide out just like this, right? Maybe readjust a little bit to get a little deeper into this position. And let's say that this is as far as I can get into this stretch. Rather than thinking about extending this leg out and like pushing it out to try and get deeper into this stretch, what you should instead do is think about relaxing, like dropping your body into this stretch. So don't think about pulling this leg out. Think about using your weight to allow you to drop into this position a little bit deeper. And then you can even come up if you want to and then repeat and really let your body just ease into this position. And it's also really helpful here to focus on your breathing. As you exhale, it's going to naturally allow you to get a little bit deeper into this stretch. We'll inhale, come up and we'll try it on the other side. So once again, I'm gonna get my leg out. I haven't even really extended it that far yet. Uh, this time I'm gonna not curl my toes. That felt a little uncomfortable. I thought that's what I normally did, maybe not. So I have my toes flat, and then I'm just gonna slide into this position. This is as far as feels comfortable right now. So I'll just chill here for a little bit. Really focus on my breathing, and feel free to exaggerate your breathing. Nobody's watching you, you're by yourself, it's okay. And as you relax, don't think about pushing that leg or trying to pull that leg out. Just think about letting your weight just 
bring you deeper into that stretch. And I'll slide myself up here, but this is where something like a kettlebell can be handy. And just to really illustrate the point, I'll pick the lighter pink kettlebell. <laughs> so we'll breathe and use that extra weight with our exhales to get deeper into those stretches. And then you'll hold here. In the program, you'll find out that you're gonna hold these positions for 30 seconds. Come out, take a minute to rest and repeat. And again, focus on exhaling as you get into that stretch and really letting your body sink into that stretch. Now this might not seem like much, but once I really started to make this the primary focus, the primary focus in my head as I was stretching, I could feel myself getting deeper into these stretches because with something like a middle splits, you know, I was no longer thinking about just like forcing my legs out. I was thinking about sitting into the stretch and just trying to relax into it. Let my body weight just pull me into it. And once I really started to focus on relaxing into these stretches, that's what allowed me to get the extra eighth of an inch, the quarter of an inch that might not seem like much if you're just looking at it on a ruler, but when you're at your full middle split or your full front split, that quarter of an inch is everything. In weightlifting terms, it might be that extra two and a half pound plate that you put on your bench press. And one last thing to focus on as you're relaxing into these positions is to really focus in on the muscle that's being stretched. So in a position like this, you know, let's say I go out to here, this is the furthest I can go, pay attention to your hamstring. Is it tight? Are you subconsciously tensing this muscle when you don't intend to? If so, focus on trying to loosen up that muscle, keep it loose, because that's gonna give you that extra eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch that you need. Because what I've learned over the past year of doing yoga is that when I get into a deep position, my face gets tight, I start squeezing, and my yoga teacher will say, Adam, relax your face, relax your face. And part of that is that by tightening up my face, I'm subconsciously tightening up my legs and restricting my body from getting deeper into the stretch. So the second I focus on loosening up my face, keeping my face loose, I also tune into my legs and realize, oh, my legs are also tight. The very muscle that I'm trying to lengthen and make more flexible is actually tight. I'm actually pulling this leg in close to me while at the same time I'm trying to stretch it. So I know this is one of those things that's much easier said than done, but when you get into these positions, really focus on loosening those muscles, relaxing your entire body, breathing out and sinking deeper into these positions rather than actively reaching and trying to you know, elongate your body. And if you wanna do the eight week challenge that I did, I will have a link in the video description where you can go to Elia's website, get your own copy of his eight week challenge and please send him your progress pictures because He'll be more than happy to share those on his social media page and he loves to see the progress that you guys are making. If you guys have any questions about anything I've covered in this video, please feel free to leave a comment below. And if you enjoy the content, please consider liking the video and maybe even subscribing to the channel. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.